Yes, yes, we'll stay away from there. Just a quick update. The Montreal Canadiens lost 6-3 to the Minnesota Wild last night. Uh, but uh, joining us here is uh, Cholo Maguigad. He's the chairman of the Council of the Philippine Basketball Association of Montreal, which is based right here in Cote d'Ache. Good morning. And um, so tell us a little bit about this organization. Where did it start? Uh, how long has it been around? And, you know, what? where did this idea come from? It actually started, it originally started in 1971 um, through 1994. It was more for adults at that time. Um, and then from 1994 until now, uh, it's more focused on the uh, kids. Uh, so we've been around for a very long time. Uh, my dad actually has been uh, part of the organization since 1994, a big part of it. Um, he was president at one point. Um, so... I actually feel that I, I need to play um, play a part in the community, and uh, I think I owe it to uh, to the Filipino uh, Basketball Association. So, and did you grow up playing in the association? I started playing since 1994, uh, so uh, it's been like 20 something years now. <laughs> that you've been there. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and why did the Filipino um, community feel like they needed this basketball league? Well, uh, first and foremost, Filipinos love basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, I know uh, my dad did. Um, so uh, we, I, I'm assuming, or my dad had told me that he, we, we do it for the kids. And um, we want them to have an extracurricular activity outside of uh, their usual routine of school and, I guess, work. So, uh, you know, something they could do uh, over the weekend. So who's your favorite basketball team then? Uh, my favorite basketball team is the Boston Celtics. Uh, my dad had uh, had uh, influenced me on that <laughs> team uh, since the 80s. So you didn't really have a choice. You had to become a Celtics fan. Yeah. Exactly, yes, yes. And why did you choose to have it based here in Cote d'Ache? Well, uh, the majority of Filipinos uh, live in Cote d'Ache. Um, actually, a lot of the newcomers that... Uh, come here to live from the Philippines. Uh, most of them um, come here to Quintanej uh, to live, and then they uh, move out onwards to, I guess, to the suburbs and such. So, uh, Although we do have a big uh, Filipino community in the West Island, the South Shore, et cetera. Do a lot of them come back to Quintanej to participate in this league? Yes, a lot of them do. Um, we do have organizations in the West Island and the South Shore that uh, come here to play. Actually, our... Um, our main gyms are based, uh, one of them is based around the corner here at Gatineau Gym. Um, and the other one is uh, in front of Plymouth and Metro. Uh, well, I call it the Shad Complex mm -hmm. just because I grew up in the 90s and that's where... Um, <laughs> that's what it was known. Yeah, that's what it was known as. So. Can I ask a question about um, hockey? Does the community get into hockey at all? Hockey, I know a couple of people that do play hockey, uh, obviously not as much as basketball. Uh, basketball, yeah, uh, why obviously? Uh, because um, in the, back in the Philippines, I mean, we don't, <laughs> we, don't, yeah, we, don't we don't have <laughs> not much ice. <laughs> not much ice now, so uh, the go-to sport is is basketball. It's probably a bit cheaper too, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. a little bit more accessible, we should say. Yes. And just how competitive does this league get? It gets very competitive. Um, I know back in the 90s when I was playing, um, it was uh, there was big rivalries and uh, yeah it got pretty intense I mean now that kids younger than you know we have kids from eight to ten years old to 12 14 year old playing it gets um, it gets very intense and competitive uh, parents get very involved <laughs> <laughs> so it's a big deal great well thank you so much for coming down that was uh, Cholo Maguigat he's the chairman of the council of the Philippine Basketball Association of Montreal which is based right here in Cote d'Ache go Celtics <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much two minutes before seven o'clock it's time for the latest Montreal news headlines and here's Christy